Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be a March favorites video and I think this is, I'm pretty sure this is the first favorites video on my channel. So I put together a few products that I've been really loving and using a lot this month and I'm going to show them all to you and explain to you why I've been loving them. I just moved into my new apartment and I have like my setup going on and I'm arranging my entire beauty room. I have this backdrop that I actually really like. I hope you guys like this background. Let me know what you think about the quality and the setup. This isn't in any specific order. I just kind of put them on my table and I'm just going to pick them up and show them to you. So um, I guess I'll try to start with like the face, the lips, the eyeshadow, stuff like that. The first product I chose for my March favorites is the Too Faced Hangover X um, Primer and it looks like this. So I was at Sephora um, and I was looking for the Coconut Primer by Marc Jacobs and the girl at Sephora told me that um, this is basically like a dupe for it and way cheaper. So um, I tried it and I love it. I have like dry patches on my skin but I'm normal to oily. I don't even know what I am anymore. But this really just helps hydrate my face and it smells really good too. It's very hydrating but it's not going to make you like oily or anything. And I love it. It smells really good and it's silicone free so it's not going to like cling to the dry patches which I have and it really annoys me when like smoothing or pore finding primers tend to cling to like the dry patches. So I've been loving this one. I use it every time I do my makeup. I use it today and I love it. So next is a Makeup Forever HD um, stick foundation. I heard about it through Nikki tutorials and like Jeffree Star and stuff and I wanted to give it a shot because I love the um, Makeup Forever HD foundation, the regular one. Now they have the Ultra HD. I just apply it to my cheeks like this. Literally I just create lines with it and my chin, my forehead, my nose and then I grab a beauty blender and I just blend it out and it blends amazing. It's definitely like buildable. It's um, medium to full coverage I would say. I use this all the time and I'm obsessed with it. My next foundation that I have is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. I picked up the um, Dewy Smooth and Dewy I think it's called by the same brand. You guys know what I'm talking about. The Dewy one. And it's really good, but um, I really just prefer the matte and poreless because I have texture on my skin. So the dewy one is it like definitely gives me a glow, but I don't like the texture on my skin, so I prefer a matte foundation. And this is so good for a drugstore. It's probably my favorite drugstore foundation. I use this today, so this is what I have on right now. And I would say it's like a light to medium coverage. I'm sure it's buildable, but um, I prefer like a medium coverage anyways. I don't need, I don't have to cover like too much. And then I have a concealer that I'm completely obsessed with. It's the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. Um, I had it in the shade medium light and now I have it in the shade light. I'm not the type really to go rebuy something. It's like very rare for me to rebuy the same product. So this is like one of my really true fuse. For concealer, I have a really hard time finding a concealer that's like creaseless for me and gives me the coverage and the highlight and blends easy and doesn't flash back in pictures so this one is amazing I mean you can literally over apply and it will always blend out beautifully I use this under my eyes to highlight and like the bridge of my nose the forehead the chin area and then I blend it all out and it blends amazing it's literally creaseless I love it I like it better than the um, the MAC Pro Longwear concealer it's really amazing so worth the money it's so good you have to try it. My next product is, I'm sure you've heard of it, the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Um, I just had to mention this because this is my first favorites video and this is like, I love this thing. Basically when I apply concealer and I highlight, I don't really like setting it with any anything that I use to set it always tends to crease. When I started using this, and not necessarily even for baking, like just to set my highlight and to set my face, like it just sets it perfectly. It won't move, it won't budge, and it won't crease, which is my favorite part. And also it even smooths it out. You know the um, Sony A5100 camera, how it has like the smoothing effect? This will literally give you the same smoothing effect and it looks so good in pictures. And if you've been hearing about it and you don't know if you should try it, 
They have a smaller one that I use. This is just, I just got a big one because I'm obsessed with it. I know I'm going to be using it. They do have a smaller version that looks like this. So it's cheaper and um, you can try it out, see if you like it. I'll use it with the Wet Beauty Blender to bake under my eyes. On days where I don't want to do much, um, I'll just take my Sigma Tapered Highlighter E35 brush and I'll literally just dip in and I'll just set the concealer under my eyes and bridge my nose and everything. I'll even use this to set my entire face, but I won't necessarily just bake with it. That's what I did today too. I didn't bake at all today. I just set with a, a highlighter brush. So then the next product I'm talking about is the Sigma in the Saddle Aura Powder. And um, it looks like this. They actually sent this to me in the welcome kit that I got um, when I became an affiliate. And when I first used this, I was like, holy crap, because it's so pigmented. And I just put way too much because I didn't realize how pigmented it was. So the second time around using this, um, I just picked up a brush and very lightly like just hit it once and tapped off. And it's just so pigmented and amazing. They're known for their brushes, but they do have really amazing like face and um, like eye products too. So yeah, this is the In The Saddle Aura Powder. Um, and also if you guys don't know, I'm actually a Sigma affiliate. So if you like any of the Sigma products I'm talking about, make sure to use my coupon. Um, it's just Rotem, my name, which by the way, if you don't know, it's pronounced Rotem. And you just use it at checkout and it'll give you 10% off. So make sure to use my coupon if you do buy with Sigma. I do have links below as well if you want to um, access it a little bit easier to the products that I'm mentioning here. The next two products I'm going to talk about are uh, eyebrow products. And of course, they're Anastasia Beverly Hills brow products. For a very long time, I was using the uh, Brow Wiz by Anastasia. And then she came out with the Brow Definer. And um, I went and bought it, of course, because hello, Anastasia. It basically looks a little bit bigger than the brow is, just slightly bigger. And it has the same kind of spoolie at the end. But this one feels a little bit different. I love it just because it's nice to have the spoolie in the same product of the, you know, brow product. It's like the brow is, but angled. It's like, an, it's shaped like an angled brush. It's really easy to just shape your eyebrows very quickly. The next product I've been loving is the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Ebony. And I had this in the shade Dark Brown, but it was just too warm for me. So I picked up Ebony, which is a little bit more cooler of like a brown. And that is so perfect for my dark eyebrow hairs because it blends a lot better. And then once I realized the color was better, I realized the formula is so good for my eyebrows because I have like sparse eyebrows. For me, like, I need like a super like thick formula, like something really like intense to really make them bold and make them look you know, the way I want them to look and blend with my dark hairs. So I definitely love this and I definitely recommend picking this up. Next product I've been loving is the Inglot um, number 77 gel eyeliner. This is a black gel liner and I've been using the Maybelline Gel Studio for um, a while since I until I picked this up and this is so good. This is so matte. It's so easy to blend. This works so well with the Sigma EOS eyeliner brush. I love those two together. I've never changed that about my makeup routine no matter what. This is always the eyeliner I use. And recently I couldn't find this so I used the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner. And I didn't realize how much I love this until I used that product because it was so shiny, the Stila Stay All Day. And I just hate that look. It completely like ruins um, eyeshadow for me like an eye look because it's so shiny so this is really matte it's really good affordable easy to blend and definitely recommend it now moving on to lips I picked this product up a while ago but I just wanted to mention this because I feel like not enough people talk about it this is the Sephora um, cream lip stain in the shade marvelous mauve this is basically like a liquid lipstick it's so good it's so non drying it's the shade is gorgeous um, the whole line though is amazing and I have the red color too and I love both of those. Definitely recommend checking out the cream lip stain line in your local Sephora because they're so good, so affordable and worth checking out if you love liquid lipsticks. Okay, so the next um, liquid lipstick I want to talk about is the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Androgyny. I just love Jeffree Star. I love this packaging. I love the formula. I have three of his liquid lipsticks. I have Androgyny. I have um, Dominatrix and Masochist. I really wanted to try like his liquid lipsticks and I'm so glad I did because they're actually not that expensive. They're $18, so easy to apply, so non-drying, 
Once you put them on, you can't even feel them. The shade I'm wearing right now is Masochist, and I love it. It's such a gorgeous hot pink, and all his shades are amazing. They're bold. They're such good formula, so if you love liquid lipsticks and you're looking for a good liquid lipstick, definitely order these. One more thing to talk about, and it is the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. And I have several of these. <laughs> I love these. They're so good, so affordable. They're so creamy, non-drying. They're not a liquid lipstick. They dry to like a suede finish, but like a satiny finish, but they're so good and the shades are gorgeous and it's the closest thing and most affordable thing too that you can find in the drugstore. So I definitely recommend trying these out. I love these shades. My favorite shade is Soft Spoken. I love Stone, or was it called Stone Fox? Super bold color, like a cool grayish bluish tone. It comes off a little bit blue on me though, but it's gorgeous. And then I love, I just used this recently, the um, Life's a Beach one. It's so gorgeous. One of my favorites this month. So that's it for my monthly, ooh, I got one more. Last but not least, I almost forgot this one. My Morphe Brushes Palette. So I have four of these palettes. I have 350 palette, 35W palette, 35C palette, and 35B palette. These are so good. They're very affordable and they're such good palettes. Let me just show you my favorite one, 35O. I'm sure you've heard about this one because everyone raves about it, but this is like the most perfect, just warm tones. You got your shimmery tones, matte highlights, crease colors, dark colors. Oh my God, like lit, perfect lid colors. It's like gorgeous. I know everyone talks about it, but there's reason to talk about this. It's very affordable. You get a lot of shades. You get the most perfect shades that you need. They blend amazing. They look amazing. They last all day and they're gorgeous. And then I have the colorful ones, the 35B, because this is such an affordable like line. Like their palettes are so cheap that I just really wanted to try the colorful ones to like kind of get out of my comfort zone. For me, the colorful ones are definitely worth it but they do have a lot of neutral palettes and really great palettes, like smoky palettes. So this is the 35W. A lot of light shades up here, but they have like more purpley shades that I love. I've been using this for every eye look basically, and this one I haven't really used as much because they're all matte, but I'm definitely planning on it, and they're just nice to have because they're so colorful and you know that you have basically every shade that you need. So. If you're looking for a really good palette that has every color that you need, it's very affordable and also great quality, check out Morphe brushes. They have such good palettes, trust me. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my March favorites. I hope I didn't inspire you to go spend money because that's what happens to me when I watch these kinds of videos. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, share, thumbs up. Definitely let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see next because I'm trying to kind of branch out and do something different other than the standard makeup tutorials. Make sure to leave those below. Let me know your favorites for this month as well. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. I don't know where I'm going with that. I have no idea. Duo, whatever you call this. Dome, whatever you call this applicator. I'm just gonna stop talking because I tend to not make sense. Um, ooh. Hold on one second. Oh my god, I gotta stop talking. All right. Wait, I'm missing one. What? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I'm going to show you how to take your broken powders and fix them and make them um, at least reusable again. And this goes for any powder, makeup, um, highlighters, bronzers, eyeshadows.